Damien Fashani here from DC Comics News. I've got DC writer Marguerite Bennett. Hi. Thank you for spending time with us here. Yeah. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, your work with DC Bombshells. So the um, uh, the story's been around for a year now. Yes. Uh huh. So uh, for those fans that are interested in the book that haven't haven't read it, do you want to bring us up oh, to yes. speed now that we're a year through on okay. where we're at uh -huh. with the characters and the story? Sure. Um, well, without spoilers, I will say if you are unfamiliar with the DC Bombshells, um, the the premise is sort of that it's all of the iconic DC heroines in this alternate history of World War II. So um, the major conceit of the series is that the heroines came first. There is no heroine who is derivative of a male counterpart. Batwoman came first. Supergirl came first. You know, all of those. You know, just the heroines are given their own space and their own agency. And like, like power and strength was always, you know, like the, the number one thing we wanted to underline. And then um, when you jump on, um, each of the heroines begins, you know, scattered in her own chapter around the globe. And so uh, each of the heroines actually uh, has essentially her own genre. So Batwoman starts out as this like cheesy, like radio, like, you know, like adventure reel. Wonder Woman is a war story. Supergirl is a propaganda. Zatanna is this hammer horror film. Uh, Catwoman is like a noir spy story. Um, and so like we, you know, like by their powers combined, we have created this fully fleshed universe. And so um, without, again, without spoiling, uh, issue 20, um, which is the start of our new arc, will be a jumping on point if you haven't, you know, necessarily been reading so far. Um, so we start, uh, we, we go to the Northern African theater and um, so, you know, we're getting into like to, to giant mechanical horrors in the desert. Um, and you're gonna see some really fun new characters. Um, and uh, so it's gonna focus on Batwoman, Renee Montoya, Catwoman, and Hawkgirl, and then a new character that you have not seen the design for yet. Um, who I have had to say closed lipped about for so long. Um, but no, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be this crazy, bombastic, just like, it's gonna be explosive. I really hope it's gonna be, it's definitely the most action packed um, arc that we have done so far. And so I really hope, you know, everyone's uh, here for essentially the summer blockbuster version of Bombshells. <laughs> That's awesome. So I've heard you talk about DC Bombshells before, and you're, extre you're extremely passionate yes. when you talk about it. So when you, when you were given the opportunity to uh, to take control of it, you were talking about previously that you were given a lot of um, of the creative control yeah. behind it. What are some of the key creative things that or decisions that you've made that you think have um, have pushed the story forward? Some of the key things. Oh goodness, uh, letting heroines screw up. I mean, I, I, that sounds like such a silly, obvious answer, but um, you know, so often there's sort of this pressure um, to make heroines aspirational. That you know, all women must be everything. You know, when you have like the lineup of like all the dudes and the one woman, uh, she has to be you know like noble but funny but sexy but chaste but maternal but you know vulnerable but like all these things. And it's like holy God, how do we not go like little like you know scanners that explosion? You know, being given all of those tasks to do. And so you know, when you have enough women in the story, the world feels real. Yeah. Everyone gets to be their own thing. And so that was so nice to have, you know, heroines screw up, be careless with their loved ones, like, you know, make mistakes, pay for it, regret it. Um, you know, no one suddenly had to be the validation for all female potential. You just got to be a person. <laughs> so honestly, that has been like one of the great joys and privileges. Also making everyone gay. That's great. <laughs> I think one of the key things from there. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Um, I think one of the key things, or one of the key attributes that I found with DC Bombshells, one of the key interests for me was that I've got a seven-year-old daughter, and she, I'm getting her into comic books at the moment, and I just think in these, well, this day and age, it's important to have gender diversity, particularly in the superhero genre. What are your opinions about that, and, and how do you think DC Bombshells is contributing to that? Um, honestly, I think like one of the big enjoyable things is that we don't have have something like, oh, all the men were killed in a plague, or all the men are off fighting aliens or something, so only the women are left, those poor helpless things, but they man up and defend the home front. I can't cuss on this, but F that. Yeah, so anyway, no, that. no, we don't have to qualify. Like, no, you're, you're strong enough. You get to be the, I mean, these are the heroines on their own terms. Like, we don't have to set up this bizarre, condescending, hyper-constructed version where, oh, there's no other situation that possibly could have been good enough to fight this battle. You know, we just we just hit the ground running. Have them on their own skill set, on their own integrity. And honestly, like it's been it's been a it's been a pleasure and it's been a relief. <laughs> and with all the characters in DC Bombshells, do you have a particular love for one character? Kate Kane. <laughs> and why is that? Oh, because because she screws up, honestly. Like I mean, she's uh, here. yeah. Why, no, respect, absolutely. Right? And she and her problems are always so emotional. Like I mean, the way she is careless.
careless with her loved ones. Um, was, was such a, I mean, it's not like, oh, I'm so clumsy, I spilled my coffee on the cute guy at work, I'm such a clutch. I was like, that's your version of a flawed heroine? Like, come on, man, we can do better than that. Um, so no, it was so nice to see a, pro, uh, a heroine with like these nuanced, you know, emotional failings. Like, she's trying to do the right thing, she's actively, you know, going out to the world to do it, but she does it at the expense of her interpersonal relationships. Like, you know, she can solve all these other problems, but she can't, you know, be honest with, with her partner, you know, like, you know, or, or she struggles to, like, move past past relationships. Um, and so it was, it was really enjoyable to, you know, sort of have, you know, that she, she can go out and she can be a heroine, but, you know, she's still human, she doesn't have superpowers, like, you know, she's someone who just stepped up. With, with the challenge game. So, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Fans, get out there, give DC Bombshells a go, and thank you very much for speaking yeah, to us.